speaker. We've got to get it going, get it moving. I we need to have a conversation afterwards. Yes, you got to have a towel, man. <laughs> Our first, second, <laughs> third, and fourth speaker <laughs> of the day is Mark Thompson. He has been commi a committed Toastmaster for the past 15 years and a contract speaker for making it count. Mark has spoken to thousands of high school students across the state about the importance of getting an education. Mark found his gift of speaking at the age of 40, half time, and has been committed to using his gift to inspire others to find their gift. His intention is to leave an indelible mark on your spirit and on your life. Mark will be talking about the silent aspects of bullying. Let's give a warm round of applause for Make Your Mark in Your Life, Mr. Mark Thompson. Give it up. Good afternoon, everyone, and you have been transported to my senior class at Palmdale High. You are all now members of Palmdale High School, so make some noise, Palmdale High. <laughs> I'm excited to be in the space of future doctors and lawyers and attorneys and directors. I'm excited just to be here today. And what I'm going to talk about today are the silent aspects of bullying. Now, we're all familiar with before we get into what bullying is and the silent aspects, I want to introduce you into a philosophy that was introduced to me by, by a speaker by the name of Simon T. Bailey in his book, Releasing Your Brilliance. And this philosophy is called, let me get the first page here, Ubuntu. And I'll spell that U B U N T U. And how that is pronounced is U. Everybody say U. achieve my greatness in life without you. And you cannot achieve your greatness in life without me. We make each other more human. But remember, the Omutu philosophy. Now how that relates to the aspects or the silent aspects of bullying, I will show you. As a child, I was about maybe nine or ten years old, and I liked to bowl. So I went to the bowling alley with just by myself, bowled a few games with some friends of mine, and I'm leaving the bowling alley, I'm unlocking my bike, and next thing I know, three guys jump me. So they push me to the ground, they sock me, and I'm on the ground. I'm by myself, what can I do? These guys are four or five years older than me, so I'm laying. They took the money out of my pocket, only had like three dollars, so it wasn't a big deal. But I got up, dusted myself off, and the, the, the hits really didn't hurt, to be totally honest with you, but what hurt me was I had friends in the bowling alley that were watching the whole time. They were standing by while these gentlemen were beating me up, and I had to think about that. You know, I thought about that recently. They were just standing. Why wouldn't they help me? Maybe I was standing by while someone else was being bullied. Maybe I was standing by while someone else was being beat up. So that came back to me. So maybe I was a part of the problem. I didn't exercise this Ubuntu philosophy. Standing by while somebody is being now you say to yourself, well, it has nothing to do with me. Why should I get involved? I'm not bullying anybody. No one's bullying me. So why should I care? You should care. Because it affects all of us. That little boy that's being bullied that you saw, tomorrow he brings a gun to school. That little girl that's being bullied. It affects all of us, no matter what. And we have to care about each other and fuse this Ubuntu philosophy in each other. We must care for our fellow man, 
because that's what comes back on us, the reality of it. Now, I'm not going to ask you how many of you have witnessed someone being, being beat up or, or was bullied. I'm not going to ask you that. I'm not going to ask you if you jumped in. But I would imagine if we are honest with ourselves, we've probably witnessed something So Palmdale High, what can we do about this? By standing, thinking, we don't have any responsibility. What can we do about it? And I'm aware that here at Palmdale High, there are many efforts to stomp out this bullying epidemic that is going across our country. One in four students are being bullied every day. 160,000 kids don't show up to school because they are afraid. And for you young men out there that think you want to bully and decide to bully, by the time you're 24 years old, 60% of you will have a criminal record. So yes, it does affect all of us, no matter what. But three things that I want to leave with you. And the first thing is resist. Let everybody say resist. 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 Resist the thought that you have no responsibility in the matter. Resist the thought that if I jump in, it's a scary thing. Yes. Life is scary. Second thing I want you to do is think. I want you to think about that young man or young woman that's being bullied. Maybe that young lady's family is now home. There may be aspects of that young man or that young lady's life that you don't know. So yes, we have a responsibility to think before we act. And the third thing, I want you to reach. I want everybody to say reach. 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 reach for the goodness in other people. If you see somebody being bullied, step in. Walk over and say, hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. We're going to report this. This is really child abuse. And you, the bully, you're in trouble. Reach for the goodness. Reach to someone that maybe doesn't look like you. And say, you know, how are you doing? My name is Lane. Let's get to know each other. Let's reach for the goodness in others. If we want to practice this Ubuntu philosophy and show that every single day, I want you to resist. I want you to think, and I want you to reach for the goodness in each other. Now, Palmdale High, this is our moment of truth. And when I say moment of truth, that means you come in thinking one way and leave thinking another way. I want you to think about this Ubuntu philosophy. And the decisions that you make from this point on, Instead of being that person who stands by, why not be that person that stands up for your friend, for your sister, for your school, for your community? The decision is up to you. Tom Del High, thank you for your time. And remember, every day is a day to make your mark in life. Thank you. Ubuntu.